His death taught us how to live, and the book that logged his final days spent four years on the bestsellers list. Who can forget Tuesdays with Maury? Tonight, Maury, lessons on living. In 1994, Maury Schwartz, a university sociology professor, was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. He went on to share his journey to death with the world. The disease is not going to get my spirit. No. Yet my body will not get my spirit. One of Maury's former students sat by his side during weekly visits until the day he died. I took every class he offered. I promised him the day I graduated that I would always stay in touch, and then I broke that promise. So for me, it was a question of, oh my God, he's dying. What do I do now, and how do I try to make up for what I haven't done in the past? After Maury's death, Mitch Album wrote a book about those conversations, Tuesdays with Maury, sold more than 17 million copies. And after 23 years, it is still the best-selling memoir of all time, even spawning a movie. I still got time to learn and time to teach my final course about dying. Not about dying, about living. Maury's son Rob has spent years editing a book written by his dad before he was diagnosed with ALS, and now he's releasing it. To talk more about his dad and their new book, please welcome to the show Rob Schwartz. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Really happy to be here. We are thrilled to have you. I read uh, Tuesdays with Maury. I sobbed and sobbed. It's so good to meet you. The world got to know your dad best through Mitch, Mitch's eyes, of course. But I wanted to know what were your favorite things about him? About my father? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was an extremely loving, caring man, uh, very sensitive. Maybe not uh, the some people's ideal of a father. He wasn't super athletic, but he had a lot of time for me when I was growing up, which, of course, you know, that's irreplaceable to yeah. spend time with your dad. I really feel for people whose father was too busy for them when they were a kid. Mm. So, mm. you know, I, I could talk about my favorite things about my father for, for hours, but fundamentally, he really spent a lot of time with me and a very loving man. Just showing up, that's fantastic. Yeah, I too yeah, read exactly. Tuesdays with Maury. That was a, a part of our college a, immersive experience. So we went to coffee shops and we went to bagel shops and we discussed the book and it, it, it really resonated so much with all of us and we were a very diverse class. So why do you think your dad's story resonates with so many different kinds of people? Well, I mean, that's who he was. He taught uh, university, Brandeis University, for decades and decades, and he could relate to all kinds of students. He really had this ability to, to hone in on each person and figure out what was important to them and figure out how to relate to that person. And I think that really comes through in Tuesdays with Maury, and it also really comes through in the new book, The Wisdom of Maury, which is out today. Um, and I'm really happy that I was able to put it out. We got a copy right here. We're going to show it in a little bit. I can't reach that far. <laughs> but the book and the movie made your dad famous. Do you think he would have liked all this attention? Absolutely. This is a question <laughs> I get a lot, and it's hilarious because he comes across as this maybe shy, sensitive man, but in fact, he was a gigantic ham. He would have fit right on your show. He would have loved your show. I would have loved him. And he, he, he loved to be in the spotlight. He loved to talk. He loved to lecture. He loved to make jokes. He had an incredible sense of humor, and he would have adored all this attention. He would have been completely shocked by it because a lot of people don't realize that he wasn't alive when Tuesdays with Maury was published. Yeah. Right. He wow. never saw a finished version of it, so he has no idea that he is world famous now. And, you know, Tuesdays with Maury is in 40 languages. And the wisdom of Maury is already in about six languages. Wow. So. That is so cool. And I know he, he has to know. He knows. Yeah. He, knows he knows Maury. Uh, the new book, speaking of this new book, was written by your dad before he died. Where did you, up? Oh, it's upside down. I have everybody in the studio pointing. <laughs> I see y'all. I see y'all. Uh, why do, how did you find it and why publish it? Tell us. Right. So the story briefly is just that I was living in Japan. I was a journalist in Japan. I would travel back and forth between my mom's house, which is the house that my father lived in and passed away in, and uh, Tokyo regularly. And I would work in his study. And one day, I just pulled open a drawer of his desk and found the manuscript. Oh, I had oh talked gosh. to him a lot. Yeah, I had talked to him a lot about the manuscript when he was writing it. And this is, you know, a good 15 years later or more. 
than that. Uh, I'm not exact. I can't remember exactly the year. So it all came rushing back to me. It's like, oh, yeah, dad wrote this book and he wasn't able to publish it in his lifetime. Maybe we can publish it now because of the incredible success of Tuesdays with Maury. Wow. It's like it's like finding a Renoir. It's like, find, it's like finding the Soup Nazis recipe. Yeah. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah, if you guys are Seinfeld, Seinfeld fans. Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very funny. I thought Rob might be. I don't know why. <laughs> all right, well, I watched it. Uh, I know go. what you're talking about. All right. I know what you're all right talking good. About. Well, I wanted to I'm ask. I'm not going to make any cheesy jokes. Don't worry. <laughs> That was for you. That was good, buddy. Appreciate you watching the show, That's man. Good. Thank you. That was good. That was good. You know, I wanted to know, what, in your words, what would you say your dad teaches us about aging? Right. Um, the first thing, and the, this book really works on two different levels. The first thing was, you know, he always considered himself a young person, and then he was actually forced to retire from university, which we don't have mm. anymore, at age 70. And he realized that people viewed him as an elderly person, and that elderly people are not really respected in our society. Mm -hmm. We have such age of views, like, uh, they're old, just, just go away and die. And he realized that was just so wrong and so poisonous. And he really wanted to help people correct those, those ideas. So it really works on a psychological level that, first of all, you need to get rid of these ridiculous ageist ideas, which are equally as poisonous as racism and sexism and all of that, right? They're just poisonous ideas. You need to get rid of that. And then, so there's a psychological aspect to it, and of course that relates to his career and his training. And then there's a real practical aspect to it where he, he gives you tips, like if you're having trouble after your retirement, try and do this, try and do that. Incorporate laughter into your mm. life. Laughter is so important to keep you young and involved. You know, develop a new interest. Strengthen your relationship with your family, your friends, you know. For human relationships were really the, the basis of what all my fathers thought in sociology and social psychology and in his personal life. You know, if you read Tuesdays with Maury, you'll know that's what he says gives your life meaning is your relationship with other people. Rob, you're carrying your dad's legacy. You really yeah. so are. Wow. Sir. The what, audience is reacting too. What an inspiration. Thank you so much. DBL Nation, the wisdom of Maury is available now. Thank you again, Rob. Congratulations. Mazel Good tov. for you. You were a great Thank you so much. Thank wow. you so much. I we'll, appreciate you. We'll be right back. Thank you.